<laughs> you wouldn't ever say that. Nobody has ever said that about anything. Go to Ireland! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> What's up? We're doing something very different today, but it's gonna be fun. If you're new or if you don't know, I am Irish, I'm from County Mayo, and I married an American. This is my husband. What's up? <laughs> so this is my husband Ashton. Hello. And he's from America, obviously. I am. Tell the good people where you are from. In well, America. I'm from the faraway land of Reno, Nevada. <laughs> uh, <laughs> was born in California. Uh, raised in California and Nevada, and I live in Los Angeles now with my beautiful wifey. So we're both from the west part of our country. That's true. That's kind of cool. It is true. Yeah. But I like your Guinness t-shirt. Thank you. Yeah, sporting like, yeah. one of my favorite Irish pastimes. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of them. It's not just drinking. I do like their Guinness, though. Today, I have compiled a list of very common Irish phrases, things that you will hear in our everyday language that are very normal to us, <laughs> that any Irish person will understand, but to the rest of the world may not make any sense. <laughs> well, I'm excited because I've learned some of them. I was going to say... I don't know what you've prepared. She specifically did not want me to look at yeah. any of these. I'm sure some of them I'll recognize because I've just come to know them. I was going to say, uh, you've been now, you've been to Ireland, what, four or five times? Gosh, yeah. I've been a handful of times and I've, I've learned a lot of the isms. We've had a lot of fun comparing yes. things that are different and there's a lot of them. <laughs> from big cultural things to even just the things that we call the smallest things uh, that we use in the day-to-day -day life. So I'm Definitely. excited. I'm going to start you easy okay. with some that you've probably heard okay. just from being around me and okay. my family and So you just get my reaction and basically yeah. see what either I think it means or... Compare it yeah, to something get, I would say, I'm gonna get I guess. you to like translate it, or maybe if you don't know, just guess what it means. Okay, and I'm gonna <laughs> stay with the camera. I'm not gonna look at the computer because she's okay. got her list. Yeah, I, have I don't want to know ahead of time, so I just want to hear it and get its full. You know, there's been enough of them in Ireland where I have heard, especially <laughs> her family, her brother, say things. I'll be like, uh, how do you spell that? So I'm excited. Let's do it. I'm gonna start off easy. Okay. So the first one is extremely common. What's the crack? I have heard it. <laughs> Um, it struck me when I first learned it, because if you say that to anybody here, they're going to be like, you're either talking about your asshole or, um, or inter intervenous drug. Um, yeah. so, uh, not a common phrase here, but I have come to learn that that, that crack is a general term of, of what's up, right? Like yeah. what, what's happening? What's the thing? What's the thing of, of the topic? So the word crack on its own, it means like fun, fun. Okay. So like you'd say if you could say something is great crack or someone is great crack. That's the other thing. I hear that too. Great crack, which great is crack. even worse. That's kind of another phrase, I guess. <laughs> so I'll just throw that in there. You could say, how was the party last night? It was great crack. I would never like, say it that. Was, it, was <laughs> it was great. It was amazing. It was so fun. I would never say that. <laughs> Going back to the phrase, uh, what's the crack? What's yeah, the it's crack? a greeting. It's okay. like, hey, how are you? Mm -hmm. How's life? What's new? Yeah. That's the crack. Okay. Well, that's good to know. All right. The next phrase okay. is how ya. How do you spell that? H O W Y A. That's the other thing. H. H O W. What the f is that? We go back and forth about this all the time. <laughs> H. H. The letter H. There is no such letter. Yes, there is. The H O W Y A. How ya. How ya. Well, the obvious guess would be how are you? Mm hmm. How ya. How yeah. Would you actually write that, or is it just an abbreviated slang version of I what mean, you would say? I mean, yeah, it's it's an abbreviated slang of how are you. Okay, but, but you, you wouldn't you write could, that you on could paper. Also, well, you would if you were texting. Like, really? I, I'd have ants that would text me, how yeah. It's like, hello, how are you, all together. How yeah. What happened to the hello part? <laughs> it's just how yeah. How yeah. How yeah. Okay. How yeah. How yeah. How yeah. How yeah. How yeah. A or A. Ara. Ara? Ara. Flatten your A. Ara. Not aura. What do you mean flatten it? Ara. Ara. You're saying aura. That's how you say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's ara. Make an ah. Sound. Like arrow? Arrow. I guess we would say. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ara. 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 Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> do, I can't do it with a normal face. How do you, say it one more time. Ara. A ara. Like ah. Uh... What is it? <clears throat> <laughs> Hang on, I'm not explaining this properly. <laughs> if, someone, if someone asked you, how, how are you? And you'd say, ah, I'm fine. I would say, um. That's true. Um. So, okay, so for the Americans watching, it'd be like, 
Um. Um. Well, even we we say M. You say M. 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 Um. I'm like not sure. Sa- <laughs> <laughs> you could say what's the crack? R M fine. Oh, so it's not even a word. It's just a filler no, noise. No, it's a filler. Yeah, it's a filler word. Why not just fill it with normal, like? Or you uh. could just say Ara just on its own. Like, how are you, Ara? Like, I'm okay. It's not short for all right. No, it'd be like used in the place of it. Ara. That's weird. Ara. I've never yeah. heard you say that though. Yeah, I feel like I wouldn't say that here, but I might say it at home. But a lot of people use that. Well, it's very possible that I heard it used and didn't know. Maybe. Because they tend to, um, <laughs> especially <laughs> her when her brother tells a story, <laughs> bless his heart, but he goes so fast, there are no, there's no spaces. So it's quite possible it was in there and I just didn't know it. Uh, er- era. 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 Okay, so A-R-A is like a, is like era. Yeah. Like a filler. Or like, or like if something inconvenient happened to you, you'd, you'd be like, oh, I'm so sorry that happened to you. But like, era, what are you going to do? You know. Era. <laughs> I feel like I'm not going to narrow down the proper usage of that. I don't think you will. Because there's so many. Is it in the dictionary? Probably not. All right, <laughs> next one is cop on. Cop on. Cop on. What do you think that means? At this point, it can mean friggin' anything. <laughs> Cop on. Is it like a command? Like, cop on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You well, can, then... You can use it as a command. Yeah. Is it similar to, like, come on? Yeah. Like, you'd say it to someone if they were... Maybe they were, like, misbehaving or doing something stupid. You'd be like, cop on. Like, it's like telling them to, like, stop. Like, grow up. Come on. It's also used as, like, in... Like, you could say about someone, like, they have no cop on. Like, they have no common sense. Oh, so it's also a noun. Yeah. So two don't... words in that sense? Yeah. Era. Era cup on. I don't like it. You can say that. Era cup on. That'd be so normal. It doesn't Ara sound. Era cup on. It's not English. Stop. <laughs> How ya? Egypt. This one I know, and I love this one because it goes with feckin. Yeah. <laughs> Which I also hope is on this list. E D J. E. J. I don't know. Spell it for no, me. No, it's E-E-J-I-T. It's two E's together. Oh, so it's like Egypt. Yes! But it's Egypt. E- Egypt. Egypt? Egypt. Idiot. Yeah. They have like an, all the novelty stores in Ireland. They have license yeah. plates that say feckin' e- Egypt. Yeah, yeah. That's feckin' like, Egypt. Yeah, feckin' Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to hear you say because you're like the nicest person in the world. <laughs> Sorry, cuff on your feckin' Egypt. <laughs> Ara. Ara, cuff on your feckin' Egypt. <laughs> All right, so yeah. you can put all these together. I can get everything on board that, yeah. with Egypt, yes. Everything that we've done so far. What's what's the crack? I have a cup on you, feckin' Egypt. <laughs> that wasn't English. None of that. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> no. But I like it. I like that one, Egypt. Feck. Maybe. Well, that one I know. Okay. But what I did find interesting is that, see, like, I, I, I would I would say. But no. what I realized, what you taught me was that in Ireland, that's not the equivalent of the F word. It's actually much more mild. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it, it would be in place of it, but it's, yeah, it's a mild version. Like a kid would say it? You wouldn't, you wouldn't encourage a kid to say it. So here, I guess it would be like saying frick or frickin'. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think so. Even but maybe it's pretty a, close. Maybe a little bit worse than frick. Feck is so close to the word, I would just think that that would be almost equivalent I know. That. To me, I, when I first heard it, I thought it was the F word, just with an Irish accent. I yeah. thought that was the F word, but apparently it's different and it's it's much more mild, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You'd use it. You'd use it in the place of every of that word. Okay. As a milder version. Though. You like you'd say "feck off" or "that fecker" or right. But that that you. would that would be more <laughs> acceptable in a in a government building. I mean, it's still <laughs> slang, so okay. But it's not like <gasps> you know. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Fair play. So fair play. So yeah, I, I only play. I know this one because I just heard it a million times yeah. when I went over there. Fair fair play to him or fair play to. Yeah, him. it's like good job. Like good job. Well I done. I don't really understand why it means that. Fair play. Well but, done. No, it's a good one. They they say that a lot. It's like fair, fair, play. fair play to you. Fair play to it's you. It's a compliment. It definitely is definitely a compliment. A compliment so. Yeah, it yes. means good for you. All right, next one is I'm grand. Yes, I'm gr- I'm see. I'd say I'm grand. I'm grand. 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 <laughs> Grand and then the and then um brilliant. I don't know, is that on this list? I don't want to I jump actually, ahead. I didn't. Okay, well but I'll just I'll, mention it now because yeah. it's something that's so grand. 
I wouldn't use to describe how I'm feeling, mm-hmm. or, but I'm assuming that's what it is. Here, yes. Right. So yeah. I'm, I'm grand. Like grand to me means like big. Yeah. Like, oh, that palace is grand or, or what, like I, it is good too, good, really good, really big, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it as an adjective for emotion. Mm-hmm. But the other thing that's really different is brilliant. They use it as, um, like we, we use brilliant for really smart, but mm. they use brilliant for, to describe something good. Like so, awesome. Like yeah. You, we, we'd like say would, awesome. We'd say I'd brilliant. say that movie was awesome. You'd I'd say, say that movie was brilliant. Yeah, see, but I would only say brilliant if, like, I would call Inception brilliant because it's really smart, I right. think. I think it's really well written. Yeah. But I'd only use brilliant to describe it because of the intelligence of it, not not how much I enjoyed it, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, you do say, I'm, oh, I'm grand, I'm grand. I'm grand. It's like, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm grand. And we'd say, I'm awesome or good. What's like the crack? It. I'm grand. Or just grand. You lost me. <laughs> What's the crack? Grand. <laughs> Well, I'm going to be ready for my next trip to Ireland you after are so this video. Ready. You're bang on. Two bang words, on. bang on. Bang on. It doesn't mean correct. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So I'm bang on. But yeah, you're like, ex- <laughs> you're like extremely correct. You're bang on. So when you and I have a disagreement, usually I'm bang on. No. I knew I couldn't get away with that. <laughs> it's like, you're so right. You're bang on. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I usually am. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Acting the maggot. What? <laughs> Acting the maggot. Uh, if I had to guess, it would probably mean like misbehaving mm. or like going crazy. Yeah. Like like if you get too drunk at a bar, you're acting the maggot. Yeah, I could. I would agree with that. It's and, definitely like misbehaving. And or I would like, say, era, get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> <laughs> misbehaving or like um, maybe like being rowdy so it, or being so would it apply disruptive, m- would- but with like maybe with not bad intent, but like okay. trying to be naughty, kind of. Okay. Or you might say it about a student, like who is being disruptive, like he's acting the maggot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next one. Okay. I'm only having you on. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just, I know, I, I can guess what it means just from listening to the tone of your voice. Because, okay, like, yeah. I, I just know you so well. <laughs> um,. Like, you would say that to me, like, if you were, like, joking with me or something, right? Like, you're, yeah. you're, you're teasing me. Or, yeah. Right? Or I'm, I'm playfully leading you to believe something that's not true. Right. And the yeah. only reason I know that is just because I can hear how you're saying it. Like, that's yeah. how you would say it to, to me or, like, if you're on the phone with someone. Um, mm-hmm. uh, like, I, I can really hear your accent when you say that. Because it just, it slips out really severely mm-hmm. in some instances. And I can usually tell what you mean, even if I don't know the words you're speaking. Having you on. Okay. Yeah. Like, I'm only joking. Right. I'm only teasing. That's what, okay. That's I'm what only I... having you on. I'm only <laughs> pretending. A fella. A friend? No. A fella? Fella. A dude? Yeah. Like a, ma- a male counterpart? Yeah. Okay. Like a lad? Yeah. A fella. Your man. Your man. Yeah. So that one, okay. So that's what came to mind, because we wouldn't. Yeah, and you you heard this from probably my dad or my brother because they say that Both all of, the well, time. Everybody in Ireland says <laughs> this, and I. So it's your man, your man, which is a two words in one reference to a guy in a story. <laughs> now, if they're telling a story once upon a time, and there's a guy in it, his name is your man. I don't know why, but that's how it is in the uh, in the Emerald Isle. Uh, and then logically, you'd think it would be your woman, but it's not. Nope. Which it's brings your... me to the next one. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> You're one. You're one. Why? Okay, so I have so many questions. If they're telling a story, like I'm telling, like when I'm telling a story to these people watching, mm-hmm. I would, I would say, you know, we walked over the street over there and then your man said hello. So why is it your, cause I'm telling them the story. They don't know this man. <laughs> yeah. He's not their man. No, so he's hear, your man. He's your man. So why am I saying your man to them? It should be my man. So my <laughs> man over there. See, I'd say that. That's your man. What... It's like that man, the man. But I don't know that man if you're telling me the story. But he's your man. <laughs> he's not my man. I don't know the damn dude. And then if it's a girl. I don't know woman, the fella. Or a woman. It's your you're one. You're, you're, that, see, that makes no sense. Why is it my one? And what's a one? Female equivalent <laughs> of that, of that yeah. phrase. Well, they haven't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know what it means. We'd never say it. But I find it funny. 
if I hear a story with that in it, I automatically know I'm near an Irish person. Yeah. Well, what's funnier is when they're telling a story and watching your reaction to them saying like, oh, your man was like, Meh, and you're just like. Especially when I first went to Ireland, I had to pretend to get the punchline a few times. <laughs> Because you don't want to be the, like, awkward foreigner that doesn't get it. They tell a story like they're running out of time. (laughs) They're telling a story like the punchline expires. And then they hit the punchline, but you have to have heard everything else. And if you didn't, you kind of just got to pretend or look like a moron. The story that comes to mind is Mark. The vanilla. The vanilla story. They were telling, I swear to God, this was my first time in Ireland. This, they told a story about a thing that happened when I swear to God this was the story. This is how I heard the story, okay? I swear I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> I heard every word, so. I'm sure you did. This I heard the st- this is exactly what the story sounded like. And then she gave me the water. It's going to go open the fridge. It's going to get what it was. But vanilla! <laughs> now I was like... <laughs> you know? <laughs> Vanilla was funny for some reason. And then I had her retell me the story. And I was like, okay, that actually is funny. But it didn't matter at that point. Matthew, Mark, love you guys. <laughs> Miss you, brothers. Miss you, lads. Effin and Blinden. You gotta say that again. Like three more times. Effin and Blinden. and Blinden. Yeah. You've done this a lot. Effin and blinding. Okay, effin comes from like the F word. Right. So effin and blinding means like going off, like swearing, swearing oh, yeah, constantly. Oh yeah, I've done that a few times. Like, yeah. So anytime you go off on a scammer like that, when you go, nah. when you get very colourful with your language, that's <laughs> he's effin and blinding. I don't have colourful language. <laughs> okay. And blinding, what's the blinding? It's F- just like, it's I'm just blinding him with vulgarity? Pretty much. Yeah, okay. you could say that. It's just like you're on a rant, right? On you're a rant. On a, okay. on a rant with lots of swearing. Banjaxed. What? That is not a word. <laughs> Banjaxed. Banjaxed. No idea. It means uh, broken. Something is broken. It's banjaxed. Like an object. An object, yeah. Hey, I love my vocabulary. So That's true. I'm adding words to it. You're the perfect guest To talk for this. to scammers with yes. my vo- colorful vocabulary. <laughs> How do you think they'd react to an Irish person? <laughs> they probably wouldn't understand you too well. They don't understand or me. Or you must have crack. <laughs> They'd be like, Fuck off. do one thing, fuck <laughs> yourself. I think it could be kind of funny if I ever did a call. I think it'd be hilarious. Like, but I like turned up you're, the Irish style. Well, you're really good at voices. You don't give yourself enough credit. <laughs> you, you'd be great in it, but only when you're ready. But I think, you, I think you'd be hilarious. It'd be fun. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> we got time. The black stuff. Oh, that could mean so many things. So many things are running through my head right now. The black stuff. The black stuff. It's one specific thing. The black stuff. I hope it's nothing edible. <laughs> Might be. Is it something you eat or something you sh- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, it's something you- Guinness. Stop. Yes. Really? It's Guinness. You call it Ge- Guinness the black stuff? Give me a pint of the black stuff. Oh, say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Irish ASMR, I'm all about it. Give me a pint of the black stuff. <laughs> Or if I was really mayo, if I went like really mayo on it, I'd say, give me a pint of the black stuff. Stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard you spoke those words, probably because you've My never ordered the black gonna, stuff. Where they're, I can just hear them laughing if they watch this video because oh. they live in England, but they always do the I the love the black accent. stuff. Yeah, you like the black stuff. It's good stuff. And good stuff. if you want to get like really like old person, local man, you'd do a wink as well. <laughs> give me a pint of the black stuff. <laughs> Tell that fella to give me a point of the black stuff. Yeah, but do like a wink. It sounds like a leprechaun. It's yeah. always going to sound like a leprechaun when I do it. Or English. An English leprechaun. The black stuff. That it was like pretty... Sh- sound like Sean Connery. Yeah. Give me a point of the black stuff. <laughs> Ara. Ara. <laughs> yes, that's so good. Ara learning give, things. Ara, give me a point of the black stuff. <laughs> I feel like we're, we're in the quiet man now or something. Hell yeah. The Jacks. Like a stomach virus? <laughs> I mean, when you're kind of in the right territory. Jack? The bathroom? Yes! Oh! The Jacks. The Jacks is the bathroom. We call it the John here. Oh yeah, the John. The John. Alright, the next one uh, can be said in kind of two ways. Uh-huh. This one I think you know. Okay. But it can be said uh, flutered or fluthered. Well, I've never heard fluthered. <laughs> uh, can you say that again? Fluthered? Yeah, I think that's more of an accent. Okay, well, fluted is drunk. Yes. I have learned that one. Fluted. Yeah, fluted. We'd say wasted or drunk or trashed. Yeah. I, I mean, like, we have so many words for You have for a this. lot of words for that. Fluted, legless. Legless, I like, I like that, that one. one. That's savage. 
Heard that. Uh, like badass, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's we savage. Would, we would say that. You would? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I've ever said that. I don't Maybe. think I've... Maybe. Yeah. That's savage. That's savage. And the last one okay. is a fun one. Yep. That's gas. Gas is weird between yeah, our two cultures because we, we say uh, fuel is gas. Petrol. Uh, but you guys call it petrol. Or well, leaded. And here <laughs> we say something was awesome or fun and you say it was gas, right? Yeah, but it... Or funny. Funny. Be more funny. Okay. Um, that's gas. Like, or that's, she's gas. She's gas. Oh, Someone who's that. really funny, like, oh, he's gas or she's gas. We would never say like, that. Like, they're hilarious. Brandon's gas. Like, or you could say it was gas crack. <laughs> no, you wouldn't ever say that. Nobody has ever said that about anything. Go to Ireland. <laughs> if you ever hear me say something's gas crack, you should leave the room. Say all this gas crack. <laughs> or kind of, it would might it might be like a slight disbelief. Like, isn't that? But that's gas. Like, no, did that happen? That's gas. Yeah. That's so Irish. <laughs> oh my god, I learned so much today. There's probably more. And we've that only I just, scratched the surface. I know. I'm Comment trying Comment below think. if you guys want us to do a video about yeah. like, there are so many things that are called different things. Thanks for having me on. Honey. Yeah, thanks for thanks for being on. That was so this fun. This is so fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, any Irish people watching, comment if there's any phrases I missed, because there was probably loads. Yeah, we'll and do a part And there's probably two. some that are like, you know, maybe local to different areas. So I was kind of thinking Mayo. Someone but... from the East Coast of the US might have a totally different right. interpretation mm -hmm. than what I said about anything. Yeah, so. and it's the same way in Ireland. Yeah. It's very uh, specific to regions, mm -hmm. so. Subscribe to her. Please. Subscribe to Trilogy Media if you oh, haven't thank already. You. Thank you. Although yep. they probably have. <laughs> Subscribe to her. She's doing great work thank and I love you. you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. As you can tell, we both are laughing and have red faces, so <laughs> yeah. that was really fun. Please subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to like the video and share it with any of your Irish or American yes. friends. The notification bell yeah. so you're notified when she posts <laughs> next time, please. And uh, yeah, if you want to see another video like this where we do some kind of Irish versus American, uh, then we will definitely, I would love to make that into a series if people are interested. There's mm. so many things we could do, whether it's words or like trying each other's sweets foods and or stuff. snacks yeah. or, or um, yeah. literally anything yeah. we can talk about anything we can go all down that <laughs> rabbit hole it'll be a lot of fun yeah. please comment below your favourite phrase or word from today because yes. I'd be so curious about that which was or the one that for American people the ones yeah. that surprised you the most so. yeah like or just yeah just your favourite thing that I said or favourite yes. reaction or something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>